Hi guys, welcome to the Incite My Life channel. So today I just want to talk about just my process in becoming an actuary. I know that when I was first starting out, I was trying to find different you know, resources and I was constantly looking up uh, you know, testimonials of people who became actuaries. And, you know, I, I just, I had no idea of what to expect when I was first starting out. And I feel like it's, I mean, a lot of uh, videos and a lot of sources really emphasize the exam material, which is great. And let me tell you from experience, the exam material and having exams passed is very important. But I also want to take the time to really step back and look at you know, what is, what do you, what can you expect? You know, what do actuaries do? So let me start by giving a little brief explanation of how I actually became an actuary. I know a lot of you are probably, you know, you're starting out in your exams and you're looking to try and find some place to work, maybe an internship. So let me say that my own experience was not, um, I wasn't just thrown into the position of being an actuary. Uh, what happened was I had sent out applications everywhere and um, I got a lot of callbacks, but I didn't have a lot of, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually get a lot of conversions and job offers, right? So, um, I mean, I had callbacks uh, even as far uh, far away from me where I've they've actually paid for uh, a plane ride for me to go out and meet them in person and you know despite all of that I still didn't get an actuarial job to start and um, you know I think a, a lot of that was because you know a lot of uh, companies are are wanting to find somebody who has the experience because it's very expensive to train somebody from the ground up. So, I mean, my recommendation, if you can, is to try and get an internship program, uh, you know, if possible. Try and really get the experience in the company. Uh, but, I mean, realistically, that's not what happened for me. And so, what my actual story about this is that I actually applied for the filing position. So I actually was working in the uh, the department, just doing copy paste edits on our our manuals, uh, doing just basic like clerical type work, uh, submitting filings and, and different things like that. And that was like my start in the uh, in the insurance company that I'm in. And so this is what I want to say though from that: do not take for granted the opportunity to make connections. So if you, if you really want to be in the insurance industry as an actuary, uh, you know, I can say from firsthand experience, it's, it's difficult if you don't have, you know, that experience backing you up. And in my particular situation, uh, I didn't really have the educational background. Um, I have a mathematics degree, um, but I mean, you know, mathematics being like theoretical math, fuzzy math, uh, Rubik's Cube type stuff. Uh, not a lot of experience with insurance. And so uh, what I did was when I became a filer, I, I said that I am going to make sure that I get to know somebody on the actuarial team and that I can really show them what I can do right now. So I'm very good with computer programming. And so for the filing team, I was building a lot of these little applications uh, to help automate the, the processes. Because there's, I mean, there's a lot of like, you know, copy and paste and stuff, but it doesn't, you know, because I have this background in this, I, I knew, well, I don't have to do all this, you know, tedious manual work. So I started to build these tools and, um, you know, it, it caught the eye of my boss at the time and he, um, he got me in contact with some of the actuarial staff and uh, long story short, I basically put together this, uh, this program for them uh, for the actuarial team. So even though I was still a filer, I was asked to be, to put this thing together uh, for the actuarial team. So I got to present it 
my, I mean, my heart was racing. I was in this big boardroom and I mean, there's, you know, the, the workers compensation team, there's the auto team, the property and casualty, uh, you know, for small business owners team. And it's, um, it was nerve wracking because I was, I was like, Oh my God, you know, I'm, this is my moment. And, uh, you know, I got to present that and it, it went great. I mean, they loved it, but <laughs> this is the funny thing is that, um, it wasn't like you would expect, like, you know, people are just s slow clapping, <laughs> you know, it was, um, it was more like, and I don't know what you're, you know, I, I don't want to say all actuaries are like this, but at least the actuaries that I know in, in that company, very, hmm, so tell me more, <laughs> you know, like, more of like, hmm, so does it work under the X circumstance? What if blah, 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 <laughs> and I'm like, um, uh, yeah, it, it could work there and, uh, it, it can do this. And, you know, I wasn't expecting to get, you know, all these, um, you know, these types of questions up front, but you know, that's, that's actuaries for you. They're very, um, you know, detail minded. And, um, so like it was, it was interesting cause you know, I, I couldn't tell at first, like, did they like it? I think they liked it. And, uh, later on, um, my, uh, I guess one of my, well, my boss's boss, uh, she told me after, and she was the, um, the actuary on one of the teams. She was saying, Hey, you did great. You know, this is great work. And so, you know, I did all that and I'm, you know, I'm expecting just like, yeah, you know, now I'm going to get the job and just blah, blah, blah. And then like later on, I, I have a conversation with her and, um, she's like, well, there's not really any, you know, open positions right now and, and any position will go on to someone's. So I, to be honest, I was really bummed out. So I was like, man, I put in a lot of work into that thing. And, um, you know, and I just, my point is guys, like it's normal that you're going to hit these walls and, you know, the profession is hard to get into if you don't have you know, what they're looking for and what they're looking for really is experience. And it's a, you know, it's a catch 22 because I mean, how do you, you know, how do you get experience if you don't get hired? And it just, that's why I really recommend you guys to try and really shoot for those, those, um, those internships. I know they're super competitive. So if you're not going to do the internship, then you have to demonstrate somehow that you, you can do the job at hand and that you know what you're talking about. You have to get fluent in some of the lingo. You know, when I first started uh, my job, there was so much lingo. And I, I was like, I don't know what the heck they're saying. There's like, I mean, you know, there's all these different things. There's, uh, you know, all these acronyms. And I'm like, I cannot get all this stuff straight. And uh, I, I actually had to ask my, uh, my boss and the filing team, uh, for like an, a dictionary. And he actually gave me an insurance dictionary with all these different terms. And I was like, wow, this is a lot. But, you know, once you start to get that familiarity and you can kind of speak on the same level, then, you know, then you start to, to catch eyes. Right. And so, you know, at the time I was doing a lot of our, our filings, uh, for different, you know, departments, uh, state departments. And so my boss told me, he said, Hey, you know, there's an opening in the uh, workers' compensation, uh, actuarial team. And I leapt to it. Boom. <laughs> I'm applying right now. I have all this experience and blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, and I'm, I'm very grateful that I got that opportunity. And I feel like for those of you who are, who are really going and, and trying to to get your foot in the door here, it can be hard. I mean, guys, I interviewed so many times before I got my job and the job that I got initially was not even, I mean, wow. Uh, okay. Let me put it into perspective here. Um, where, where I am now, um, I could have been, and this is not to disrespect any professions, but I could have gotten like a, a teaching job here. And the only reason I say that is because I used to work as a math tutor 
at my uh, community college. And there was a lot of, you know, promotion for becoming teachers. Uh, you know, they, because if you're a tutor, you know, you're naturally teaching people all the time. So they, they often times try and recruit uh, tutors. So anyway, they, they were giving, they were offering like, uh, I mean, whatever, like 55 grand uh, for, for doing a teaching job out here. And so when I first started at uh, the company that I'm in, they started me at uh, 50, 50,000. And I was, I was like, Ooh, like, man, I could be a teacher out here for 5,000 more. But the thing to realize is right. You're building the connections in the company and you're, you're making a name for yourself in the company and you're that close to the job that you actually want in the company. So it sucked at first because I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting underpaid here for, well, I mean, not, uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? It's not the salary I want. And to top it off, the, the current job was two hours away from where I, I, I live. So, I mean, you can imagine gas expenses, car repairs, all of that, but all of that at the time, it didn't matter. And the reason is because I want, I wanted to be an actuary, you know, I don't care how far I have to drive. I mean, I have to make the sacrifice and that's, that's, you know, part of what I want to tell you guys is that sometimes you have to be willing to sacrifice to get to where you want to be because, you know, for some people it's, you know, it, I don't want to say it comes easy, but you can get into that position right away. You know, maybe you're in college, you take a couple exams, boom, you get the position and then, you know, you're set. But you know, for at least in my experience is that, you know, sometimes it requires that additional effort to, to show what you're capable of and to, to shine bright to these, um, you know, actuaries in, in the management so that, you know, you can get the position that you want and it's tough. Oh my God, it was hard because I'm getting, you know, I'm getting less than a, a local teacher salary and I'm driving four hours every day for a commute. And, um, it was just taking a toll on me guys. And, you know, it, it took a lot of hard work to finally, you know, create all these things and, you know, show the actuarial team. And thankfully, you know, I, I made enough connections there that, uh, I got a recommendation for the, uh, workers comp actuarial. Uh, department and you know the rest is history now I'm an actuary now I <laughs> I see it from the other end because I used to be the guy uh, doing you know the copy paste work on our, our rate manuals and now I'm the guy sending the things over to the the filer guy um, so it's you know it's a it's a it's interesting to kind of see it from the other perspective but you know I I always like to to, tr to tell people like you know, it's, it's hard, but there is a certain formula to it, right? I mean, you know, you can send out your resume a hundred, you know, a thousand times and I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it can literally be that if you're applying everywhere. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you want that, that actuarial position, you know, don't be afraid to be a little bit flexible and to try and get to know these people and build the connections. And then, you know, work your way into the position. That's, you know, that's possible. And I can, I can actually say that that happened to me too. So anyway, guys, just wanted to give you that little bit of information. And, uh, you know, I really wish you the best of luck on your studies. I'm planning on doing more videos coming up. But I also, you know, I just wanted to, to also take some time and really encourage you guys to keep going, to keep pushing forward. Because to be honest, I mean, if I can do it, and I, I'm pretty... I'm, I consider myself not the brightest, um, and maybe that's because, you know, the, the person I work for is a uh, Harvard grad and, like, worked with, it was, like, uh, going to the same school as Bill Gates and all this, <laughs> and so I don't feel that bright, and so if I can do it, then I know you guys can do it, and don't feel bad about failing exams either, because that same boss that I'm mentioning, Harvard grad, you know, working at it for years, he... 
even he did not pass all the exams in one shot. It's it's normal if you fail. To be honest, you know, guys fail on the job. All the guys, girls, you know, they fail the exams. You know, norm normally. I mean, it it happens. These are tough exams, but you keep pushing through and get those exams done. So just want to give you the give you guys that encouragement, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.